Hey folks, welcome back. Just out here in the shop because I got a job ahead of me today. I got a tree that, with all that heavy snow and the wind, blew over and is leaning against one of my big white pines. The tree that's blown over is a balsam fir. They tend to be a little, uh, a little uh, sketchy at the best of times. So, anyways, I'm gonna try to pull it off that big white pine with a bit of a uh, bit of cable and some come along work, and hopefully that goes smoothly. Get it onto the ground, and I'll cut it up or split it up for firewood. So that's the name of the game here today. Uh, as I mentioned, just got to get a few uh, few pieces of equipment and then we'll be after it. So thanks for tuning in today and let's go. Get off there. Okay, that will do. Well, as you guys can see, there it is. There's a big tree on the angle there that's leaning against this white pine. I was hoping it would fall and miss it, but I don't think it's gonna. So I'm gonna help that, help that leaning tree down by rigging it up to one of these other stationary ones and pulling it this way just a little bit. So that's the that's the plan. Got Coda with me, so he'll uh, he'll act as a safety advisor today. Snow down the coat. Ah, oh, look at that. Okay, good enough for me. What the hell? What's the point of these gloves? I got our five years in them, eh? Okay. Just see solid. Ah, for the love. <sighs> Oh, I love winter, I tell you. That is just froze right in there. <sighs> okay, back in a minute. Another reason why I tend to have two of everything, because when this one is uh, seized, you can grab the other one. This one's a little worse for wear, so hopefully this is still going to work. This one's missing the pulley on this end. And that one's probably not froze in actuality. It's probably rusted right on the drum. If we look here, the cable wraps around the drum. It's probably rusted on there because this was kept inside for the last while. So let's see if this one will work any better. Oh, it's just jammed right around there. Oh, this one's gonna be a nightmare too, isn't it? Glad I got these gloves on to protect me from the cable. That's a joke. Okay. Oh, success. Okay. This thing's seen better days as well. Okay. How's my safety, Coda? Perfect. Thanks. Shouldn't be. Shouldn't need much force, anyways. I think I might have to do a little cut. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Okay, let's retension this. I left a little bit of holding wood there on the uh, on the tree, prevent it from falling off the stump. And there it is. Lost a few branches up there. Not too bad overall. <laughs> Well, folks, that's going to do it for me here today. Another nice crisp day out here. I got some logs brought up to the house here. As you can see, that one log was leaning pretty precariously, so we got her cut up. Now I just need to cut it into 16-inch rounds and get my splitter over here. This stuff will probably be used, not this winter, obviously, but the following winter. So I'll get it split up, then we'll throw it into one of those bins, uh, those IBC cages, and then we'll go from there. Anyways, folks, glad you could come along here. As you can see, the coyote did a good job, as did my Husky 555. Thanks for watching, folks. See you next time. Oh,